Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I have for you a boat. Now boats are not exactly easy to tutorial on and that's mostly because of the sails. The sails are always the trickiest part. The hull is kind of a pain but the sails are never easy and they never come out the same you know the way that I want them again. But this is what I have for us today a Viking longship or kind of a Viking long short ship as it's not exactly that long but there's a lot of detail involved. So, without further ado, let us begin. So, for the base of the boat, this is actually pretty simple as it is mirrored. So we're going to start with a 13 long oak bottom there. And then we're going to go up one and go over three, then up one. And then we're going to go up a set of two vertically four times, and then finishing up with a set of four. And we're just going to copy that to the other side. Now that you have the center of the hull done, we're going to go ahead and start defining the hull a bit more with the log still. So not this first post, not the second one, but the third one, we're going to build out by one block, then build inwards by one block, and then down again. And I'm just going to fix that, so you should have a total of two here. And then now, <clears throat> excuse me, we're just going to follow along the posts that we have placed by being in one, I guess, in and out one, and we're just going to keep going along the hull of the ship until right here, we're going to come out one, but then we're going to go out one more time, so you should have a bit of a gap, this just defines the rib cage later, and we're just going to follow this to the end here, and now you could probably see what we're doing, we're just going to mirror exactly what we had on that side, to this side and then of course onto this side and now we get to probably the trickiest part of the hull and that is the kind of outward descending sort of bit we have here to define the sides of the boat so we are going to start right here where the outer and the inner hull meet so we're going to go up by one block like this and then we're going to go down or over one then down one, and then back one. Now, just trying to get you used to that, because we're going to do that for the majority of this. So we're going to do that again. We're going to go out one, back one, down one. But this time, instead of just one, we're going to go two. And then you can fix these logs as we go. And then from the two, we're going to go out one, down one, over this time. Instead of two, we're going to go three times. And then one more time, we're going to go out one, down one, over and then this time we're going to go out four times so two three and four and then for the middle part we're not going out again we're going to go down instead and then over a total of five so one two three four and five now we're just going to copy and paste this to that side and then the whole way around the boat so when you are done though you should have it perfectly line up the whole way from side to side as you did from the start. If the numbers are off, I would go back and count again because I made a mistake here at one point as well, counting these out in twos, threes, and fours. And just like that, we have completed probably the first hardest part of the boat. The second hardest part is the sails, but that's later on. So now for the middle portion here, or the rib cage, I should say, we're going to go to the middle part of the boat. So the best way to find it, although unless you already have it marked, is to take from the lowest hanging five, this is the midpoint here, and then I'm going to go underneath, and I'm going to build out a log by one from that center log. And then continuing from that center log, I'm going to go up one, and then I'm going to come out from here, we're going to have one log jet out right there, and then we're going to build up a total of two. So this should be one set back from the main outer lock. And I simplified this than the last boat. The last boat was a little too much on the rib cage, and I wanted to fix that just a little bit. So now, from this middle point of the three logs, we're going to build upwards. We're going to come out one, and then up, and then we're going to go up two, and then we're going to go out and up one. And we're going to do that same thing right over here since this boat is absolutely symmetrical, which makes it a lot easier too, just like that. And we're going to do that same design onto the other side. 
So for the sails, we're going to pick the middlemost part of the boat and build up a total of 31 times. And then from the peak of the beam, we're going to build down a total of five times. And then from that fifth block, we're going to extend out and have a total of five long. And then I'm going to have the numbers here for this part. All right, so now for another fun part of the build, and that is pretty much filling in the hull of the ship. And this part's a little tricky, but we're gonna start here along the middle post. We're just gonna build it out like that. And then here behind, actually, we're just gonna follow along the post. It is a little bit thicker right here, but again, that's underneath the water. Nobody's gonna see it, so that's fine. And now when we get to this point, we're going to have to raise the oak. I'm just gonna break that block behind and I'm gonna to continue to fall along till about this point. Then again, let's just follow here, keep it consistent. And now when you get here, we're gonna just ignore this right here and then we're gonna to touch this post with the planks and follow up. So now we have this gap to deal with. And one way to deal with it is to use staircases like that, which I'll use on the top but unfortunately it doesn't work here. We could do a staircase there and then a plank there, which is probably the best way to go about this. And then when we come back through and revisit, we can always add in some more shape to the boat. But for right now, I'm going to keep it simple with the squares. Now I'm just going to go around underneath, filling in places that need staircases and planks. So I'm gonna do that same thing onto that side, but then once we do this part right here, I'm just going to follow along this post right to that point. And then now we're going to have to go up here and then up again. And then the best thing right here is a staircase. Likewise, right here, this part's tricky, but you could just do two staircases like that. That's probably the best way to do it. And then again, of course, you're going to need to support some of these. And then we'll do some of these detailings like that afterwards. But we're just going to go ahead and fill this in all the way around the boat. Now, once you're satisfied with the hull of the ship and how you filled it, we do have one last little spot. And to keep it simple, the best thing to do is just to fill it in like this all the way through. Or you could have it touch the very bottom if you'd like. It doesn't really matter at this point. I think I will just to kind of hide those ridges there at the bottom. I'm just going to put the planks like this. Again, nobody's really going to be looking at this from underneath, so just as long as it's airtight is really what you're looking for here. And there we go. We're done with that. Now, I'm just going to throw some tips in here right now. So, what I did on the original, I'm just going to add staircases here to kind of feed into the posts like that, just to strengthen up the connection. And then I did one underneath here. You could continue around and do more like that. And then I just kind of did them so they're evenly spaced, so you have a gap in between. So if you wanted to decorate underneath, let's say, I don't know, maybe spruce planks or something, just to give it a little more decoration, you can. And then for the hull of the ship, just to brace it a bit more and add maybe a little more uh, design, I guess, we could add staircases here and there, just to make it look like it's a little more seaworthy. And then there'll be some spots where we should have staircases, and you can just very simply add in a wood plank like that. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to add a staircase, but then we have this gap. We don't want that. we will just cover that in like so. And then, yeah, just go ahead and place staircases where you think they would be necessary at best in the most important places that, you know, that you'll be seeing above water. Don't go too, too crazy. It's just not necessary. So another slightly annoying part can be the interior of this boat, or at least where the deck is going to go. So to start, what I'm going to do is right here at the middle part of the lowest point of the boat, we're going to go down one level, and then we're just going to drag the oak all the way across on both sides like that. And now we're just kind of creating the footing for the base. So now we're going to take from here, we're going to drag this over a total of five times like that and then we're gonna go up one again and then again and then we're gonna go over two like so then we're gonna go up one and they're just gonna fill it in the rest of the way here like that then we can do the same thing to the other side so I'm gonna show you one more time one two three four and five then up one then up two 
I'm gonna go in one more time like that, and then up one more time like so, and then just fill it in like this. I'm gonna break that block and put a log there as that staircase shouldn't be too much of an issue. Oh, I guess I made a mistake here. And then, unfortunately, there's not much room under here. A lot of this is gonna be filled in. I guess you could put storage down there if you really wanted to, but for the point of this video, I am simply just filling in all the flat gaps here with birch planks like this, just to the edges. We're not gonna go up here yet. We're gonna do something different for that. I'm just gonna go all the way around and fill in these squares. So once you have done that, now we're gonna come right to this point here, and we're just gonna use staircases, birch staircases, all the way around, wrapping around like this. We're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna keep wrapping around to these points and then just squaring off there at the side. I'll show you again before I go and do it myself. I just keep going around and around. So when you're done, you should have a floor basin shaped like this. Now we're just gonna keep kind of just decorating it a bit and cleaning it up. I'm gonna use a staircase, like a birch staircase going in like so, and then following it with the half slabs. I'm gonna do that on all four sides. And then returning to this point here, now it's getting a little cluttered. And unfortunately, we do have to make a change. So what I'm gonna do is break those there and then have the staircase continue like this. Now, a change that we can do, if you wanna make it, you know, work all the way around, I guess. I'm going to put the staircase there like that. And then I'm gonna do that same thing, keep wrapping around like this and then break this block, replace it with a plank and put in a staircase. Now, if you're okay with this, you will have a block there that does not match, a little birch square. So what we could do is remove that and then replace it with an oak plank, simple as that is. And then put another, another staircase like so. And if you don't like that, just kind of remove that like that. There we go. Or don't include that stair, I guess. And then now, just to keep going up, I'm just gonna follow this up like so. And then one more time with the staircases, I'm going to have them wrap around like that, just to give it a little something to look at, I suppose. And then one last time here on the sides, this is not really necessary, but just to finish it off and cover up the rest of the oak, and there we go. So then all I'm going to do is take the fences and just kind of break up the flat look, and we're going to copy that to the other side. So now that the floor is done, we can add a little more details to the tops of the boat. So what I mean by that is I'm going to take the fences like this and then an oak slab in the center. Then I'm going to try and just balance that same sort of pattern out by going one and one. So going like an oak fence and then an oak slab, an oak fence, and then back and forth. I'm just going to do this around the entirety of the build. And now just to give these uh, poles a little more something to look at, all I did was something very simple. You can do a little, you know, dragon head on the top of that. I didn't think it was necessary for this. I'm just gonna keep it simple by putting trap doors all the way around on the sides. I'm not putting here on the back because the, the wiring or the string or the rope, I should say, will be going up from this post and the back post. So it's gonna do that same look on both sides. I'll, in fact, just start it like that. I'm going to go ahead and copy that over. Yeah, now the majority of the build is done. All that is left is the painstaking sails. And we'll be moving on to that right now. So before we begin with the sail, let's just go ahead and finish this so we know what we're working with. So to start, I'm just going to place logs or staircases on both sides of the logs to support the beams, just back and forth. And then, at the tips of the posts here, I'm going to place a log upside down, or you could do right side up, it really doesn't matter. And then, I'm going to drag these planks, or the slabs rather, all the way across, just to add thickness to the posts here. Except for here on top, I'm going to use a pair of oak stairs, and you know what, I may as well use one underneath like that. And then just continue along, right to this point, and again, we're going to take our staircase, and then finally one last stretch like that. Now I'm going to use a grindstone here. I'm going to place one in the middle of this beam and then one in the middle over here. And then underneath that I'm going to use a set of two chains on both. So now for the sail, the fun part. 
we're going to start here and we're not going to place it here we're going to go down one more break that top one and then when you're one lower we're going to bring this down a total of three times and then we're just going to match the logs on top going over a total of three by three next we're going to come over one but we're going to also go up one and down one and we're just going to follow this to about here and then we're going to go up just around that chain and then continue over to the total of five now we need to come over to this end piece again we're going to go out one and then down another three and again follow along like this then up one and now we're just going to follow along this and go down two more times like this so you'll see a pattern developing. We are one lower here, but then one up, but we're also one up here and one lower there. We're gonna do this again. We're gonna come down out, we're gonna go out one, down a total of four here this time. And then I may as well just show it like this now because we get the idea of going that way. We're gonna come go in this time. We're gonna go in one and then down three. And that's where we're gonna end until about the mid post. So finish this off, going over all the way to the set of three on this side. And then this middle one, we're gonna come out like that and then continue down to about one shy and then come over the total of five times like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in the rest of the way, all the way across. So building the sails can be very tricky. So I'm just going to kind of speed this up as a lot of it is just breaking and placing blocks the way that you like, just to kind of show you how I go about processing this. Now this one actually didn't come out as good as I was hoping for, but it was decent enough. I could have got the spacing a little better. But all you're doing is essentially trying to break it apart, make sure it's not as blocky or chunky. And I'm just experimenting here with pieces just to make it look like the wind is blowing and whatnot in some spots and I even added a little bit more at the bottom because I wanted to triangulate these sails a bit more. Now I added in the details to see if maybe I'd like the sails a bit more but I still didn't really like them that much. I feel like I was missing something especially on the sides. It looks more like a heart shaped and I didn't really want that but it still came out pretty decent for what I was looking for and it's good for tutorial purposes. Sales in their own right can be a tutorial on their own. All right, so when you are happy with your sale, now we can just do some of the final touches. Now, um, I mean, I think my original sale was a little bit better, but this took a lot of fighting to make it right, and I'm content with it. So I'm just gonna roll with this. And now we can go ahead and just do some of the final decor. So to do that, I'm going to start here with the post and I'm just going to bring the ropes up. We want to bring the ropes to about the midpoint or like the midpoint of the mast there. So depending on how tout you want this to be, that is up to you. I'm going to use a mixture of ones and twos on the ropes here. I don't like them connecting. I actually like them, you know, broken up like this. Some people do like them always connecting. So it's up to you and how you want to do that but I'm just going to gradually bring them all the way up to the point. It's just to this point right there. And depending on how we get there, I might have to fix it a little bit. If I can get these right, they don't like to work with me. Just like so, and there we have it. And then one last little detail we could do is just to kind of tighten up these masts a little bit more. We can add some of the rope going down to the point, like right to there. Just to give it some more uh, realism, I guess, where it's lacking. And I'm just going to fall along onto the other side and go all the way up to the point there. Actually, I'll go a little more like that. Perfect. That is it. We are done. There is a little bit more extra we could do. And that is, I'm going to go right here in the post. I'm just going to go up a little bit here on all the sides. I'm going to have the staircases go into the sides like that. Then one here in the front. You could also do one in the back. It doesn't really matter. And then I'm just going to put some trap doors just around the bottom here. And that's really it for that. We could, however, 
have the ropes go down a little bit more like this just to feed into the the main post a bit more and now it's not really a Viking ship without the iconic shields over the sides so to do these it's very simple I'm just kind of making like a plus sign out of different colors mind you and I'm just going to follow around with the court stairs yes they're a little bulky they are quite big shields but they serve the purpose well and you don't really need to put these on and I'm just going to add a little bit of variation by giving some of the shields a little more height than the others. I'm only going to put two. So if you made the boat longer, which you could very easily do, uh, you could put more shields on the side. But I'm just going to put a red one over here and then maybe one more green one or something and call it a day. And that is pretty much it for the details of the Viking boat. And there we have it. We are done. Now, I must admit, I like making boats, but they are a pain to make, or at least put into a tutorial format, because mostly the sail. The sail is always a pain, it's tricky, it's just messing around with it till you get the look that you want. But I think we did a pretty good job, or at least I hope we did. And with that said, I hope you guys did enjoy this, and as always, until next time, see you later.